Hey everybody, um, today I wanted to talk about my January favorites and I have them written on a sheet of paper. I am going to show you each item and just talk a little bit about why I like it so much. So please excuse this hair. It, <laughs> wow, that's all I have to say. Um, let's go ahead and get started. My first favorite is this Bath & Body Works Be Enchanted Spray. And it still has a ribbon on it because one of my friends, Katie, got it for me for Christmas. It smells so good. It smells fruity and fresh and clean, but really sweet. And I love sweet smells. I love vanilla sweet smells, I love fruity sweet smells, I love all kinds of sweet smells. So I love this. And I got this in for Christmas and that's how much I've used of it already. So I love this stuff. The next thing is a mascara and it is the NYC High Definition Volume Mascara. And I'm pretty sure that I learned about this from Megan Hart's makeup, which is my favorite um, beauty guru. So thank you, Megan, for suggesting this mascara because I love it. It has a plastic applicator, which I don't usually like. But this one, I don't know, it just works really well. And it really, I have thin eyelashes and it this makes, I'm getting really excited about this, can you tell? Um, this makes my eyelashes thick and long. So I love this stuff. And it's really inexpensive. I got it from Target for like four something. I can't remember the exact price. Um, the next thing is red fingernails. And I usually like to paint my nails red in the winter time and especially around Christmas time because it's a Christmas color but um, I don't have it here with me it's actually at work because I paint my nails at work a lot because um, it gives them time to dry without having to touch things just having to touch the keyboard and they don't get smudged that way don't ask me how but they don't but um, this year I picked up Essie's Jaguar and it has been my favorite. It's it's a like true red with shimmer in it, and I love it. It's so festive. Um, okay, the next thing is something that a lot of people have been talking about, and I'm sure that a lot of people have, but um, my fiance actually sent this over to me uh, from Sephora because he knew I wanted it so bad, so he ordered it for me. It's the Naked 2 palette! Yay! I'm so excited about this. I'll show you my favorite of the colors. It is, where is it? Right here, YDK. Y'all, I've gotta get a better camera. <laughs> but I love YDK. It is a taupe with lots of silver shimmer in it. And I love shimmery eyeshadows. I like matte. Um, eyeshadows but I love shimmery eyeshadows and this is in a different case it snaps shut I have the original naked palette right here which I love this one too and I've gotten a ton of use out of it you can see all the indentations in the palette or maybe you can't because this, this camera sucks there you go you can see it a little better there but anyways I love this one but I'm the most excited about this one because it's new and I still haven't, you know, used all the colors and really seen what I can do with it yet. So that's one of my favorites. The next thing, my phone keeps going off, I'm popular. I'm a nerd. Anyway, the next thing is a moisturizer and it is right here and it is the Garnier Nutritionniste Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. That's a mouthful. And as you can see, I've used up every last bit of this almost. <laughs> Smells like cucumbers. And as you can see, it's a gel. And I picked this up after I ran out of my Clinique, what's it called? Clinique Dramatically Different 
moisturizing gel, I think it's called. But this is similar. Now this is a little, it's not as good. I'm going to say that. But it is good. It's a good alternative to the Clinique. But it smells really good. I do like that about it. But I really want to go ahead and pick up another thing of the Clinique once all of this is gone. We're almost there. The next thing, simple jewelry. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I go through phases of wearing tons of jewelry. I love to layer necklaces and wear a bunch of rings and wear dangly earrings, but lately I've really been liking just simple little pearl earrings just wearing my engagement ring, which I love, and just really trying to keep it simple. And, whoops, there we go. And I owe that a lot to one of my next favorites, which is a book that my friend Anna got me for Christmas. And it is called Parisian Chic. And the camera doesn't pick this up very well. There we go. Yep. Parisian Chic, and it is just this amazing book that has um, illustrations in it as well as pictures, and it's by this French fashion editor who's fabulous, and it just talks about how to dress like a French woman or how to dress like a Parisian woman, and one of the things is to have very simple jewelry, and I just kind of liked it when I read it. I read this on the plane coming back from Kinston uh, around New Year's. So I just kind of liked the way she described it and I liked what she said. So I've kind of adopted a couple of the characteristics and so simple jewelry is one of them. The next thing is top knots. Now I'm going to be honest, probably one of the reasons I love top knots so much is because it allows you to be lazy so if my hair is dirty I just throw it up in a top knot and it's fashionable and cute and simple so that has been one of my favorites the next thing is a lip product let me dig it out of my bag oh wait it's in this bag just a second let's see where are you here it is Oh, my phone. It keeps going off. Okay, it is the C.O. CO Bigelow Menthol Lip Tint in the shade Violet Mint. And this stuff is fantastic. I've got to get a camera so things are the right way so you can actually read them and they're not backwards. But um, my parents put these in our stockings for Christmas all the time because... My mom loves them and she knows that we love them and they are just minty and fresh and they have such, this one has such a nice color to it. You can't really tell because I have on dark lipstick right now, but this stuff is just fantastic. It's refreshing and it has a nice tint to it. Let's see. The last thing is another lip product and I really don't think anyone is going to be surprised at what I'm about to show you because everybody loves these and it is the Revlon Lip Butter in Pink Truffle. I know you can't read this but I thought I'd show you anyway but it is, it's not very pink I'll be honest with you on that. It's more of a kind of red color. It's it's kind of a red color. And this is fantastic because it looks so good on my fair skin tone. It's kind of a burnt red rusty color, I guess I would say. But this is really flattering and it's really easy to wear every day. I have another one, I think it's Raspberry Pi. And it's really, it's kind of the color of the lipstick I have on right now. But I like that one, but this one is more wearable for every day. The other one I would probably wear more on a special occasion or something. So anyways, that is my January favorites list. Um, you can check my blog out for the actual post. I just list everything, so everything will be listed there. 
and I hope you you all enjoyed my second video and there's more of these to come because I have a lot of fun filming them and I'm just excited to kind of get into the YouTube beauty community or whatever. I know that I said that in my first video, but it's true. I'm excited about it and I'm a nerd and I love this. So you'll be seeing more of me on here. But anyways, I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you next time.